All right, so the first step we're going to do is to build out our frame, get everything secured so that we can start mounting all of our accessories to it. Uh, in your hardware kit, there are some bolts for your frame. We're going to go ahead, and, as you can see, it's all folded up when it comes shipped. Um, just stand everything up, get everything in place, and lock it down. So you can stay tuned, watch us how easy this is, and then we'll start with the rest of the accessories. Okay, so now we've got the frame locked into place. When you're locking this down, there's actually 10 bolts that you want to tighten down to get the frame locked. There's the two bolts that you'll add here, the bolts, the bolts that are loose that help it to pivot in shipping, you want to lock all of that down. And then there's two bolts on the bottom on this side that you'll add to lock it down. And then the two bolts that are loose that you'll need to tighten down once you've got it into place on the front end. And then the frame's locked into position. I will say that the cross supports are loose when they come in. You'll want to make sure you go through all the bolts when you get it set up. Make sure everything's tight before you start adding some accessories to it. So now, Scott, if you'll help me, we're going to flip this up on its side so we can put the casters on it. It does help to have a friend because this is a heavy-duty stand. So now that we've got it up on the side, we'll have the casters. The two uh, stationary casters go on the back. One thing that we did recognize that you'll want to keep in mind when you put this on is you won't want to put the casters on this way for one purpose and one purpose only because you'll want to be able to get access, access to the uh, brake. So you want to make sure that the braking system is on the outside. Lock the two stationaries on the back and the two uh, pivoting ones on the front. And we'll do that now and we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so now we've got all the frame locked into position. We've got our casters on so we can roll it around our shop. The next step is to figure out what your engine is going to be and start setting up for your mounts. We know that the first build we're going to do on this engine test stand is a Chevy small block. So we've got everything set up. These are your mounting columns. <clears throat> You've got a cross member that does adjust to give you uh, access if you know that you're going to have the bell housing on or off or how it's going to be set up. And then you're going to take your engine mount columns, lay them in here. They've given you some bolt hardware to lock them into place. We're going to do it loose for now until we've got the actual block set up and then we'll know exactly how to adjust it. Once you've got your block set in and all your engine mounts on, then you can lock down the bolts, get it all locked into place so you can start your build. That's the next step.